Hi everyone, and welcome back to yet another Backrooms level explanation on the channel. Today I'm going to be going over a Backrooms level that stumps many people, and it kind of confuses anyone who gets sent to it. Of course, the level in question is level 409, or the Paper Rooms. If you think that sounds cool, stick around for the explanation, and if you don't think that sounds cool, well, your parents don't love you. Just kidding. Let's get into it, shall we? So Backrooms level 409 is classified as a class 1 difficulty and is safe, secure, and has a very minimal entity count. There's actually just one. The level itself was discovered by user Magic Explores the Web on Christmas Day of 2020, which by the way, that was a crazy time. I mean, everything was literally insane in 2020. Anyways, the level itself is a huge structure of rooms that seem to be made out of paper. The walls, the floors, the roof, everything is made out of paper. But each of those things, the walls, the ceilings, the floors, are made out of different amounts of paper. For example, the walls themselves are very thin and only are a couple of sheets wide. The floors are thicker though and are made out of a more cardboard material. But with enough force, you can run right through the walls or dig right through the floors themselves. The rooms in the overall layout of this level seem to resemble level zero in some certain ways. I mean, if you think about it, it's kind of true. The walls here are almost yellow. The hallways go off in different directions and there's non-Euclidean and confusing geometry everywhere. The biggest difference is that everything is paper. Now the wallpaper design is kind of different and there's no carpet here since it's all made out of cardboard. But other than that, there's not many differences. This level also has an entity, which level zero mostly doesn't. But more on that in the entity section of the video. Additionally, this video is sponsored by the fantastic game World of Warships. Now I've worked with World of Warships several times now, and it amazes me how fun the game keeps getting because of all the new content that they release each month. World of Warships is a completely free to play game available for PC. This game is an awesome way to unwind with its best in class graphics that make you feel like you're actually out there in a war on the ocean. And because of its multiple ship classes, you can battle in your own way. You can pick from big hitting battleships to destroyers to stealthy submarines. And if the sky is calling your name, of course you can hop onto an aircraft carrier. And for this month only, you can battle with Popeye the Sailor or Bluto as your commander. And you can collect Popeye themed flags and patches and even a really cool ship skin. On top of all that, the game is also available on consoles if you prefer to battle that way. So if you're ready to dive into the high sea, then go to the top link in the description below, download World of Warships, and use promo code POPEYE to get 500 doubloons, 1.5 million credits, 10 days of premium account access, and your choice of the Langley, Phoenix, Wyoming, or Clemson ships after 15 battles. Thank you to World of Warships for sponsoring the video, and let's get back into it, shall we? Navigating level 409 is a very dangerous and tumultuous task because the rooms themselves seem to shift in location. And this is because of the non-Euclidean four-dimensional geometry that's a pretty common thing in the back rooms. It doesn't exist on every back rooms level, but it is on many of them, and it's the phenomenon where nothing makes any sense. You could be walking in a straight line and end up behind you facing the opposite way. We just don't understand it yet. It's just even more confusing here on this level because you can already break through walls and floors here, but on top of that, you add in non-Euclidean geometry and it makes traversing it very hard and almost impossible. As I said, the floor of this level is made out of a cardboard material and it's only a few sheets thick. It's enough to hold you up and you can walk around without falling through it, but you could easily break down through the floor and you would actually end up in the next level, level 410. And this is the only backrooms level where you can physically break your way into the next one without having to no clip which I thought was pretty interesting. The cardboard on the level is also harvestable, and it can be used to create makeshift structures and bases, but again, more on that later. The entire labyrinth structure of level 409 is bathed in a bright yellowish light that comes from the ceiling above. 
there aren't any actual light bulbs or anything. It's kind of like the ceiling just glows through the paper and it shines down on the floor below. This bright light causes the shadows in this level to be very erratic and strange and also non-Euclidean. The shadows can often be cast in weird directions, even though there's not light above them, there could be a shadow there. Some of them also overlap some of them are just where they shouldn't be. Overall, it's very weird. It's kind of like that one image of the traffic cone from Hawaii where the sun hits it at that exact right spot and it makes it look like it's from a video game or fake. It's that kind of effect here on this level, but everywhere. This adds yet another layer of difficulty to an already pretty difficult level to explore. So let me just get this straight. You can break through walls here, but the geometry of existence is non-Euclidean, so you won't be able to go back where you just came from. And then on top of that, there are bright shadows and a light that makes some areas dark and some random shadows appear. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So I did mention it earlier, but the cardboard that makes the floor here can be harvested and formed into makeshift bases and miniature camps and that sort of thing. And this is exactly what the group that's here on the level has done. The group's name is Fort Origami, and that's what they've been doing. Fort Origami is the only established group of wanderers here, and they've broken down a bunch of walls in a specific section of the level, and they've sectioned it all off in a kind of fortress pattern. As far as we know, there are 19 people inside of Fort Origami, and they actually have an exploration group of around six people that go out to different levels and harvest resources and food and water and bring them back to this level. The reason the members stay here on level 409 is apparently because the level is very simple and safe and calm. And a quote from one of the members is that they want to avoid the clutter of other levels. Now, as far as entities go, there is actually a level exclusive one that lives here. They're called folds, and pretty much these are animated pieces of paper that float around the level. They're very non-Euclidean, and from far off, they just look like regular crumbled up pieces of paper floating around. But if you take a closer look, you'll notice that they are very intricate and they're perfectly folded pieces of paper. These entities morph and shape shift like one of those satisfying optical illusions and it's very mesmerizing to look at. The entities have been described as non-Euclidean and otherworldly and that's just like the rest of the level. They blend right in. But the good news is they are completely harmless and have never shown anger or hostility. They just float around. They actually seem to be able to have the ability to fix walls and floors that are broken on this level, so they're pretty chill. We don't know if they control the level or if they created it, we do know that they can fix walls and floors. That's it. To enter this level, you can be on level 290 and find a cinema hall that's made out of paper, walk into it, and you should be sent here, maybe. And to exit, you can easily do so by breaking through the floors below you and climbing to the attic of the next level, 410. Nice. I think that's so cool that you can get to the next level by physically breaking through it. That's such a cool concept. So to summarize level 409, it is a infinite labyrinth of rooms and corridors made out of paper. The walls themselves are very thin and can be walked right through and the floor is made out of cardboard. The level is very confusing to navigate because of its geometry, much like level zero. And there is a very strange enigmatic light that comes from above that kind of makes the shadows a weird factor here. Overall, the level is safe and is pretty much fixed up by that entity called the Fold that runs around and fixes the walls and floors. And it wouldn't be a terrible place to stay if there literally was any stuff here. There's nothing. There's no supplies or anything. And that's why that base has to send out people to get stuff. That was the Paper Rooms, a very weird one that I quite enjoyed. It's got that mix of strange, but also plausible. It's very backroomsy. Hope you liked it. Thank you for all you do. The channel is growing so fast, and we are rushing towards 1 million subscribers. I cannot wait to hit it and get that plaque. Uh, if you want more content from me, check out Spoogly, where I do true horror stories and internet mysteries, or my second channel, Toogly, where I react and goof around and just talk to you guys. Or you can just stick your own Brugly, whatever you want. Let me know in the comments which levels and entities and stuff you want me to go over. I'm adding to my schedule for the rest of the year. So if you want to see something specific, comment it below. Thank you for everything, and I will catch you all in the next video.